linear interpolation is commonly used to find a property value between two known property states such as fluid temperature and specific weight. This video shows a MATLAB interpolation function and how to incorporate it into a script that graphs interpolated values. So let's get started. Begin by opening MATLAB and creating a new script. Use the CLC and clear commands to clear the screen and variables and format compact to format the command window. Now we will input our data. The data consists of a range of temperatures and the corresponding viscosities and specific weights for a fluid. Insert the data in matrix form as shown. We would like to interpolate to find the specific weight of the fluid at a temperature of 41 degrees Fahrenheit. To interpolate, we will use the interp1 function. To find this function, go to edit. Under edit, click on the function button. Type interpolation to search for it, then double click to insert. We will use the first syntax listed in the dialog box. In this case, X is our temperature matrix T, Y is the specific weight matrix SW, XI is the temperature we want to interpolate to, 41. After clicking Run, we get a specific weight of 62.428. Now, repeat the same process to interpolate for viscosity and kinematic viscosity. Now, we will interpolate over every point in the range of temperatures to produce a graph of the data. This will make X an array of points from 32 to 212 degrees with a spacing of 1. Set Y equal to the interpolation of the specific weights. Instead of 41, use the values of x to cover the entire range. For the method, use spline to produce a smooth curve. Now plot t versus sw with circular data markers and x versus y to produce a smooth line through the points. Add relevant details such as a title, axis labels, and minor tick marks. The process can be repeated to produce charts for viscosity and kinematic viscosity.